Hello Capricorn, welcome to your love reading. We're going to be looking at who or what you can expect in love. As always, these are meant to be general love readings, so they will not resonate with every single Capricorn watching 100%. So take what resonates for you, what applies to you. You can also check out your other placements, your moon, your rising sign, or any other sign of significance for you. I have um, all of the playlists linked in the description box for each sign so you can find your other placements there. Sometimes those messages can resonate more. So let's jump right in and see what we have for you in love for Capricorn. Spirits, angels, guides, messages, guidance, please, for Capricorn. What can Capricorn expect, Spirit, in terms of love, relationships? What can Capricorn expect? So, in what you can expect, we have Page of Cups, nice, and Six of Wands, love that. So, I feel like for you, um, Capricorn, there's some something coming in with the Page of Cups. Um, it could be an apology from someone, it could be an expression of, you know, emotional interest. Um, it could lead to something, and maybe it starts off small with the Page of Cups, but it leads to success with the Six of Wands. Okay, so what is influencing this energy, past energies, insight, judgment, reverse, and Ten of Swords, reverse. So I'm almost seeing this energy as what happened in November for a lot of you. Judgment that brought along a Ten of Swords. And this is kind of like over. This is kind of how I'm seeing this, but we'll clarify to make sure that that's the case. Um, I feel like what's happened is something has ended for you or come down for you or you are overcoming the difficulty and it's leading you into something more successful so how are you feeling what are your energies at this time the higher font taurus energy and the temperance card reverse sagittarius energy i feel like you are getting to getting to a certain state of mind where you're a little bit more grounded because I think, but I think this is a work in progress. I think that um, you're not a hundred percent there yet. With the Hierophant, the Hierophant's typically a card about values, conformity, tradition, um, official institutions, government institutions, religious institutions. Um, So I feel like you're trying to, it's almost like there's something that's happening officially. I have to see what this is about. I'm not getting commitment from this card. Okay, what about the other person? This could be the person that you have dealt with in the past, are currently dealing with, or will be dealing with in the future. Queen of Swords, the Lovers Reverse. What is going on? There's like a tug of war here. Gemini energy, Queen of Swords, also Gemini energy, air energy, really, but I mean, it's such a Gemini card. So we have Queen of Swords with the Lover's Reverse. Hmm. This could be how this person is viewing you. Maybe you have a tough outer shell, hard to approach. We'll have to see what this is about. There's something going on here. Okay. Uh, what do you need to know that you don't know? The world reverse. Queen of Pentacles reverse. Okay, yeah. So there's definitely something that is kind of happening behind the scenes here. I think that there's something that's done, but then, I don't know. It's almost like it's not fully closed or, or there's like a hesitation. Um... Almost like this new start that you maybe are on your way. Um, this new start that's coming your way, I guess I should say. It's going very slow. Because there's something that's not completely settled. Okay, what is happening in the near future? What can Capricorn expect in the near future? Five of Cups reverse, great. Oh, and then the Moon reverse, okay. So Pisces energy. Okay, so what I'm getting here is almost like um, 
I heard I can't win. <laughs> okay, some of you might feel like there's, you know, that you can't escape what's happening. Um, maybe it wasn't completely over, um, whatever this is that's going on. Maybe there's still more that's going to be rising to the surface with the moon reverse. There's a lot of major arcana here. Almost in every position, there's, except for one, there's a major arcana card. So I'm getting major, you know, major shifts in energy, major things that are still happening for you, Capricorn. And we're going to break it down in a little bit. But I'm sensing like a tug of war from the energies that I'm feeling so far. Almost like, you know, taking little baby steps, but feeling like you still have a long way to go. And I don't know why I'm getting that energy because in my mind, I think something's completely over. So again, I, maybe this is just one of those readings where something is over, but there's still loose ends to kind of tie up. Uh, so we'll see. Um, what's at the, the overall energy, the root, the why everything is happening at the bottom of the deck? Ace of Pentacles. I still feel like there's an opportunity for, here for you. Yeah, Queen of Cups. I feel like this is, there's something coming in for you, Capricorn. If there's anything you take from this reading, take that. Um, there is something coming in for you, but I feel like, I don't know, um, like there's still going to be unresolved issues or some things that you might have to take care of uh, before you jump into this new opportunity. Now, the Five of Cups reverse is typically a card about like overcoming a loss, overcoming disappointment, overcoming um, difficulties from your past. But sometimes the Five of Cups reverse could also be kind of being stuck in the past, not being able to break free of the past completely or still thinking about the past. The you know, situations from the past are lingering. So we'll have to see what that's all about. Let me, let's clarify. Let's get into this. I will be doing a yearly outlook reading uh, for the 2022 for all signs in the next couple of weeks. So if you're not subscribed, feel free to subscribe so that you can get that right in your inbox when it does come out. And it's going to be basically your outlook for love. I saw the Six of Swords at the bottom of the deck here. Okay, so let's break this down. Um, Ace of Pentacles. This is kind of why everything is happening. And this is the root, the foundation of everything. Probably like what's setting all of this in motion is a nice big offer for you. This could be a career move. This could be some sort of money that comes in for you. Tell us about the Ace of Pentacles spirit. What's this Ace of Pentacles about for Capricorn? Yeah, Ten of Cups. This is going to be great. This is something really nice. Um, whatever this is, I'm trying to figure out who it's from because that Page of Cups is making me think that this could be related. Like the Page of Cups and the Ace of Pentacles, the Queen of Cups is at the bottom of the deck here. Oh, okay. They want to show me the Fool. Yeah, this is something new. Whatever this is, is something completely new for you, Capricorn. Um, hmm. Bottom of the deck is the Eight of Pentacles. This could, again, a lot of you, this could be a work opportunity or a career opportunity, something that you maybe have been working towards. What else do we need to know about this Ace of Pentacles? What else do we need to know about this Ace of Pentacles? Empress, yeah, this is gonna be great. Um, there's the devil at the bottom of the deck. There you are. I think this is telling me that this is for you. This, whatever this is, it's for you. And it's going to, I heard sit pretty. You're going to be sitting pretty. <laughs> I don't know what this is about, but I feel like you're going to be, yeah, you're going to be doing well. Um, What's after this? Seven of cups. You might have options, different choices that you need to make here. Make sure that you are choosing the right cups for you. Um, the Seven of Cups can sometimes be a card about illusion. Not every cup is the right cup. Page of Wands. Again, I feel like this is something that you're headed in a new direction or taking the initiative towards somewhere new. Um, and I love that for you, but I'm trying to still get some insight into, I feel for a lot of you, this is career related, but I'm trying to figure out if we get anything about like love. Cause I'm not feeling it. Not, not, I'm not feeling it right now. Can I get one more please for this Ace of Pentacles? 
What do we need to know for this Ace of Pentacles spirit? What do we need to know? King of Wands. Okay, so this could be somebody interested in you. Uh, three of Cups at the bottom of the deck. This could be friends, co-workers, someone that you know through a friend. Um, this could be something that happens while you're mingling. Um, someone I feel has their eye on you with the King of Wands. Could be an air, uh, not the air sign, a fire sign. I was thinking about Aries. <laughs> it could be a fire sign, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. A lot of you guys, um, I'm getting this this um, very strongly. Some of you have a boss or a supervisor that's recognizing your efforts, rewarding you in a way. This could be a promotion. Um, this could be a new role for you, something like that. And they've been watching you, not in a creepy way, but you know what I mean. They've been watching you maybe interact with other people, maybe watching you um, work hard. So let's see if this shows up with this Page of Cups. Tell me about the Page of Cups, this energy of like work, um, or if this is love. Tell me about the Page of Cups. The Page of Cups could also be a small offer that's not necessarily tied to love, but it makes you feel good. It's very emotionally fulfilling. It's a dream that you have, um, or that maybe an emotional tie that you have to like a dream, for example, in a career, and then they you get that promotion or something like that. Tell me about this Page of Cups. What's this Page of Cups about? Ten of Wands. What's this Page of Cups about for Capricorn? What is this Page of Cups about? Two of Wands, Page of Cups. Okay. Um, okay. The Tower at the bottom of the deck. So some of you, I still don't get... Oh, there's a Queen of Cups again. I think this is an emotional shift that's happening for you. Something is happening with this Tower. And this could have already happened, by the way, because I feel like down here with Judgment Reverse and the Ten of Swords Reverse, I'm getting like Tower energy, like something that happened. Um, so this could have already happened, Capricorn, this Tower. And I feel like you're emotionally processing it or there's something coming in that's emotionally fulfilling for you. It's it's a something new because I have the Two of Wands here, the Fool fell out. Um, it's something new. Uh, Justice is here as well. Yeah, there's the Ace of Wands. There's something coming in for you after all of this. Libra energy with justice. And this is making me think of the Hierophant. So this could be work um, for a lot of you. This could be work related. Um, others of you, this could be just, I don't know, something that comes in that helps you overcome what happened. Whether, you know, and for some of you, like I said, it's work. For others of you, it could be meeting someone new or just cutting ties completely here because the 10 of wands is making me think that things were maybe difficult for a long time. And then look at this story, 10 of wands, then the page of cups appears and now there's a two of wands, a choice, a path that you need to choose. And the six of wands is here. So once again, this, this energy of recognition, um, like people are, you know, admiring you, you're being, you're successful, you're headed towards success. And I know this is a love reading, but I'm just not getting that so far. We'll see if it comes up when I start looking at this other person that you're dealing with. Tell me about this Two of Wands. I'm curious. What can you tell me about this Two of Wands? What's this Two of Wands related to? Five of Wands. King of Swords, Knight of Wands. Ooh, okay. So there might be... um. Hmm. Multiple people. Okay, so some of you beat someone to a position. So there was a position that came out, um, some sort of you know certif certification or a program or something where there was maybe some competition, um, and you won. Others of you, I feel like there's jealousy. Like some people are talking about you, um, yeah, and talking about you making this move. But I feel like you're still gonna make it. Yeah, look at this. Knight of Wands, the Chariot, and the Six of Swords. I mean, it cannot be any clearer than that. Cancer energy with the Chariot. So you're making some sort of move, some sort of departure. And I feel like other people are talking about it. There might be like um, drama or just people gossiping. Um, I'm picking up like this energy of someone that is just very involved in your business, even if it has nothing to do with them. 
So you're making a move of some sort. If you're debating whether you should take this move, the answer is do it. Go for it. Because there's success there for you. Tell me about the judgment reverse and the Ten of Swords reverse. Why is judgment reverse with the Ten of Swords reverse? Two of Swords. Why is judgment reverse with the Ten of Swords reverse? Okay, I got a bunch. Death, Scorpio energy, Seven of Pentacles. Yeah, something definitely ended. Yeah, judgment. So yeah, judgment and death are related. Judgment and the Ten of Swords are related. It was a package deal. Let's look at the bottom of the deck because I'm curious. Nine of Wands. Again, it was difficult for you. Whatever happened, Capricorn, was difficult for you. Some of you might have felt stuck. Um, like you didn't know where to go after this. Seven of Pentacles, Two of Swords. What do I do now is what I heard. So some of you were wondering, you know, what you, what you would do. So, you know, if, the, if we're sticking with this theme of the career, some of you might have... Um, lost a position in the past or you were passed up for a promotion or you had to leave a job right there was some sort of realization judgment call that you made um or a realization that led to an ending whatever it is and some of you are wondering what am i going to do next where where do i what what where do i go from here i feel like something's coming in for you if that's what if that's what you've been you know trying to be in, I feel like this is tied to money for a lot of you the Ace of Pentacles. Um, I feel like this is tied to money, courts, government offices, corporate offices, something like that. The higher font, justice. I got like this like aha moment when I saw them next to each other. So I feel like this is something to do with that. Others of you, this could be a love offer. This could be someone interested in you and it's someone that you meet through a friend or something like that and this will end up being very successful. But it's going to happen after an ending. I'm still leaving that love possibility in there because I haven't gotten to the rest of the reading. Whatever this was though, it was very difficult for you, Capricorn. It wasn't easy. Yeah, but you'll be able to make something happen out of this. The Magician. I instantly looked at the Empress with this magician. I got this very similar energy. So I feel like you were able to make something of this situation. So let's look at your energy. All right, Spirit, tell us more about the energies between Capricorn and the person they have, are, or will be dealing with. I can't shuffle today. I don't know what's going on. Tell me about the energies between Capricorn and the person they have, are, or will be dealing with. Tell me about Capricorn's energy. Tell me about Capricorn's energy. Moving forward, secret admirer. Yeah, people are watching you. People are watching you move on or they're watching you make a move. Tell me more for Capricorn. I just want to get one more. Tell me more for Capricorn. What's going on for Capricorn? Love letter. Yeah. Okay. So something could come in. Someone could be maybe a secret admirer that you didn't know you had. Um, maybe there's some sort of message from someone that's been watching you make moves in your life. Tell me about the person Capricorn has, is, or will be dealing with. What do we need to know about this other person? What do we need to know? Falling leaves, changes, transition, time. Time changes everything. Can we get one more for this other person? What else can you tell me about this other person? Hidden feelings, patiently waiting. Okay, this person, whoever this is, okay, I just got the message. Some of you are dealing with a past life partner. Someone that you knew in the past or in a past life that they've been waiting to meet you subconsciously or whatever spiritually perhaps this person has been hiding their feelings for you um i feel like this is somebody that you might meet in the future at work at a new at the gym somewhere where people can watch you uh school etc um and someone cat you know you you catch their eye falling leaves i feel like this happens over time 
or a long time has passed since you've reconnected with this person something like that okay and again i feel like this is tied to you moving forward somewhere you're going to make some sort of move that i feel brings this around um this is not for the Capricorns that are doing the exact same thing they were doing last year. You know, if you are, you know, doing the exact same thing in the exact same place, which by the way, there's nothing wrong with that, but I'm just saying that I don't think this reading is for those types of people. This is for someone that has made a move in their life and has left something behind. And for some reason is opening the door for something else to come in. Tell me about the higher font with temperance reverse i feel like this is more related about timing there's something here with timing with temperance reverse the world reverse this could be that something's taking its time slow to come together slow to start tell me about the higher font and the temperance card reverse what do we need to know about these energies five of cups queen of pentacles shows up again I feel like this is you, Capricorn. Can I get one more with the five, uh, the five, the higher font and the temperance card reverse? Tell me about the higher font and the temperance card reverse. What do we need to know about these energies? Queen of Cups again. Queen of Swords at the bottom of the deck. There you are, the Devil again, and the Seven of Cups. I feel like there is okay. So for some reason, this. Queen of Pentacles, which is reversed over here and is up right here. This is where you're headed, but you're not there yet. Something with the past. What's this Five of Cups about? There's disappointment. Why is the Five of Cups here? Yeah, the towers. This is what happened in the past. Um, you're still reeling from this, Capricorn. Uh, I feel like you're fine trying to find your balance trying to find your footing again trying to get back to yourself ace of swords six of wands something's coming in for you there's going to be like an important conversation or some sort of um, communication that comes in for you a letter of some sort that brings you this offer we have the ace of swords six of wands page of pentacles There's the lovers, okay. Tell me more about this uh, temperance card reverse. Tell me about temperance reverse, Sagittarius energy. Oh, why do I keep picking two cards? Six of pentacles, five of pentacles. Okay, so some of you, I feel again, this is about finding balance. Um, some of you could be dealing with financial difficulties. Maybe you feel abandoned, lost with the five of pentacles but it's it's gonna work itself out i think you just need to remember who you are remember what you're capable of um i heard this it's a bad day not a bad life it's a bad day not a bad life this could be a setback for you yes this could have been difficult yes a shock most likely something could have ended for good difficult yes but it's not the end. It's not over, you know, it's not like that's your life, the end, it's over for you. That's not the case. All of this is leading you into something completely new that you might not even see coming this Ace of Pentacles. Now, I find it fascinating that you have here Queen of Pentacles, Queen of Cups. I feel like this is an internal battle you have with yourself. Because I feel like whatever happened affected you emotionally. And um, Capricorns, you, you're very grounded, very focused. Uh, usually you have, you're tough. Um, but I think that this really brought you down a little bit. Um, however, I think it's going to, it's almost like whatever happened is going to help you be an even better version of yourself. So let's see what's going on with this other person. The Queen of Swords, the Lovers Reverse. What's going on down here with the Queen of Swords? And the lovers reverse eight of swords okay now the lovers reverse could be a card about a separation so when i see the queen of swords and the lovers reverse it could be that this person wants to talk openly and honestly about a separation tell me about the queen of swords and the lovers reverse 
Reach and a wealth, queen of swords, and the lovers reverse. But for a lot of you, I still think that this is someone watching you. Yeah. Like they see you with this tough exterior, hard to approach, hard to um, uh, talk to right now. What else do we need to know about the queen of swords and the lovers reverse? Yeah, ace of cups. This is this is somebody new. And there's the chariot. Once again, the message is clear. A move of some sort brings an ace of cups. These are tied together. You cannot have one without the other is what I'm picking up here because it just keeps repeating that message. I really feel like this is a new person coming in right now. They're probably scared or not sure what to do about the fact that they've noticed you. Maybe they know that you are recently out of something or out of a situation. Um, what else do we need to know about this person? Queen of Swords, the lovers reverse. They're not telling you um, their feelings, so they might be talking to you about other things if they are going to communicate. Six of Swords and the, the High Priestess, no, this person is not talking to you. You could work with this person. Three of Pentacles is here. This person is hiding their feelings from for you or from you, um, whatever. It doesn't matter. The message is the same. <laughs> They're hiding their feelings or hiding uh, messages or, you know, not really communicating. Six of Swords. Some of you probably left, moved out, moved away, uh, moved to a different part of the world or the country. Uh, maybe you knew this person from long ago, from an old job, an old... Um, uh, group or whatever and I feel like this person has kept their feelings ever since then for others of you you're gonna arrive I, I'm picturing you like getting off this like boat and you're in a new place and someone like sees you and it's like I have to go talk to Capricorn who is that right um but I feel like th th this person's not gonna make their feelings known it's like they're secretly watching you, secretly observing you make these moves as well. I can see that. Seven of Wands. Yeah, some of you, I feel like you're just not, maybe you're not even interested in love at this time. Or you have a wall around you. You might have um, rejected this person in the past. Or this is how this person's picturing you. Justice at the bottom of the deck. Eight of Pentacles, Four of Wands. I mean, this is great energy. However, I feel like you're going to be, you know, if you are Seven of Wands, it might slow this whole connection of um, from coming together, right? Maybe you're just not ready right now because you've been through so much. So tell me about the world reverse with the Queen of Pentacles reverse. This is in the what you need to know that you don't know. Tell me about the world reverse and the Queen of Pentacles reverse. Wow, Ten of Pentacles. Tell me about the world reverse and the Queen of Pentacles reverse. Eight of Wands, yeah, there's something, you're gonna be making some moves that are gonna be long-term, like um, long-term moves or moves that affect your stability long-term but in a positive way. The Moon, I don't think you know this, yeah. Knight of Cups at the bottom of the deck. You're not going to see this coming. A lot of you, this might be a good surprise or something that came at the right time for you. Some of you, again, look at this. Knight of Cups and the Eight of Cups. Look at that. King of Cups after that. I do feel, I still get that energy. Let me know in the, in the comments. Has there been someone from your past that you dealt with long ago? It's not this person here with the Ten of Swords. But before that that you think might still be interested in you. An old flame, an old friend, a childhood friend. Some of you, I still get that energy of a past life soulmate. So you have history with this person, but you just don't know it. I feel like this is like something that comes in after you leave a situation or a place, but you don't see this coming. And I feel like this is probably the moon reverse. You're going to finally realize that uh, either someone's going to open up to you with the moon reverse. There's going to be, you know, these hidden feelings come to light 
or you realize that this is something that you know was meant for you so for example if you're watching this reading right now and nothing has happened for you yet but sometime in december or january you get this offer like out of nowhere you're gonna be like aha that's what stella said you know in that one reading that was coming my way that i didn't see coming or this person can reveal their feelings for you and you had no idea that they felt that way so let's see tell me about the moon reverse Tell me about the moon reverse. What's this moon reverse about? Capricorn, the devil. Tell me about the moon reverse. This is related to you. Oh, five of swords. Tell me about the moon reverse. Oh my goodness. Tell me about the moon reverse. What's this? Oh, okay. The wheel of fortune in the world. Thank you. Okay. I wanted to get more clarity because I don't know if this is, you know, at first when you see these two energies together, you're like, that's not good because it's more, more the five of swords than the devil. The five of swords with the moon reverse is like, you found out that someone was not doing what they were supposed to be doing. Or you find out that someone was taking advantage. You find out that someone was not playing fair. Some of you, this is probably what's going to happen. You're going to realize that someone was not treating you right, um, whether it's at work or something like that. Um, and this is going to help you overcome the difficulty of the past. This could be a friends, family member, coworkers. Someone was not playing, was playing dirty, basically is what I'm getting here. Um, trying to take advantage of the situation, trying to be sneaky, um, trying to win at all costs, uh, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. The five of swords with the moon reverse. I think this is going to affect you. That's why the devil is here. I don't think this has anything to do with toxicity, although it could. This could be a toxic coworker, toxic friend, etc. I mean, it could be, but I just didn't pick that up very strongly. However, this is a blessing in disguise, Capricorn. This person probably will get found out or something will come to light about their actions. Something will happen, I feel, that will turn things around um, with the world and the Wheel of Fortune. It's like in the near future, whether you're the one that has this realization or this just comes to light, it's going to help you. Let's see what's behind the world. I'm just very curious here. Yeah, Pedro wants. This is going to be those initial steps that you take towards something new. The Fool, exactly. This is all connected. Look at this. We're coming back around to the original theme of this story. This is a blessing in disguise, and it's almost like karma. What else do we need to know, Spirit? about this moon reverse with the five of cups reverse what else do we need to know for capricorn what else do we need to know yeah queen of swords you're gonna find something out you're gonna have clarity you're gonna know the truth and i feel like it's gonna help you with temperance here either some a problem will be resolved conflict will be resolved or there will be balance again for you things are gonna make sense again um, maybe the truth is like that, you know, whatever happens in the near future here is going to be like confirmation or satisfaction because now you know it all and you can like move on with your life. That's kind of how I'm seeing this. I also feel like this is going to happen at the right time when it's meant to happen. It's not going to happen any sooner or later than when it's meant to. I love this reading. Uh, otherwise, I'll leave it here, Capricorn. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this reading. If you did, hit that like button and subscribe if you haven't already. Thank you so much for all of your support and kind comments, and I will see you all in another video very soon. Take care.